Hello, this is Bea. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of Stratus's capabilities, which is the multi-site function. Let me, before I go ahead and show you how it works on the user interface, give you a quick overview of what we mean by multi-site. Now imagine that you have more than one production facility. Geographically, they could be separate in different locations or they could be within the same building. And each of those production facilities, one could be news, one could be sports, one could be program production. Each of those has a Stratus system. So you have your Stratus uh, workstations, your Stratus uh, core server with the database. Um, even in this situation I'm representing an archive which is linked to the secondary production facility and from there you can of course move content between the two Stratus sites. Equally multi-site could be where you have one Stratus facility and you have a separate location which only has a standalone summit for example uh, without Stratus and you can then push and pull content between the two. Now in the example I'm going to show you today, um, I'm based here in uh, the Grass Valley Singapore office and a lot of miles far away I'm going to be connected to our beautiful Stockley Park facility in the UK. So let me show you how that works with the user interface with the GV Stratus client. You probably are used to the fact that you have a tree where locally you can see all of your content. So over here, this is my uh, K2SAN here in Singapore. And I can, of course, double click on, a, on an asset and preview it, um, search, and so on. Now, if I take you further down on the tree, you will be able to see as well a number of other nodes. And these nodes are indicated with a slightly different icon, which is a satellite dish. And each of these indicates a remote location. So I could connect to our Holland office, our Hillsborough office. Um, and here I've even represented um, what would be an OV track or an OV van, which is traveling most of the time. But in this case, uh, imagine when it's traveling, is offline. You can see it over here. And as soon as it gets connected, you would be able again to look at their assets, at the, the, the Stratus database, the K2 content, and move material between your facility and the OV track. Now, as I say, I'm going to be working on the London uh, system. So here, of course, I'm in Singapore, but now I'm connected to the London K2 Stratus system. I can see all of their folders and bins. I can even perform a search. Searches can be as complex as usual with all of the metadata fields. And in this case, imagine I'm actually looking to uh, bring some basketball content because I'm working on a basketball story. So all I have to do is just navigate to their folders as I require and from there I can double click on one of those and the clip will be loaded. Um, the low resolution as you can see over here is being streamed and cached over to my workstation here. So I'm actually taking a look here at the low resolution content, the proxy copy of that video which lives on the London system, but from Singapore, I'm able to stream that through HTTP protocol. So fairly standard, very quick. Um, from this point, I can preview, of course, I can load multiple clips. And one of the things that you will notice is that I have a small blue indicator. So when I'm working on my local database, when I'm looking, working with my K2 system here in Singapore, you can see my assets have got a green uh, indicator, meaning that they are online and also occasionally an orange indicator if they have been archived. The difference here when I get myself to the London system is that they have a blue indicator. This is a remote asset. Now from here what I'd like to do is actually bring myself the high resolution copy of that content over to my local system. So if I just want to do that with the correct user permissions all I have to do is bring a drag and drop onto any location or in this particular case onto my from London folder within my K2SAN. Now this is going to queue that up into a list of transfers and it's going to bring via FTP a copy of the high resolution content over to my K2 from the London system. Equally if I wanted to actually just grab an in and out point I could just mark an in, mark an out, copy to, select my location here in Singapore but also you can see that that now it's given me the choice of just doing a partial transfer so only between those in and out points. Now let me monitor how that's going through
through, you can see over here is just queued up that transfer. It's going to gradually go through. You can see it's going to be quite fast. But I wanted to show you really quick how I can actually start editing with that growing file, which, as you know, is inherent within the Grass Valley systems. So over here, I've just loaded that interview that is still growing, that is still transferring 65%. And from here, because I really need to grab a snippet of that interview, my edit is ready to go, um, but I, I'm just missing that sound bite. So from here, my timeline is finished while the transfer was still going through. And when I'm ready to send that to play out, I'm just going to click F11, as you know, in EDIUS that allows me to choose a list of or, or a destination from a list of preset destinations. Now, when you're working in a multi-site workflow, here's another interesting point. You can set up your remote sites or your remote summits as a remote destination, as a send destination. So from here, if I wanted to, I could send this to our Hillsboro system. And down here, I can even see all of the newsroom placeholders that have been created in their newsroom computer system. And if I wanted to link the final edit with a newsroom MOS placeholder and send it to Hillsborough, I could certainly do that. So you can see what I've done here. I've gone from uh, remotely logging into London, previewing the low resolution content, bringing myself the high resolution content over to Singapore, editing in EDIUS, finalizing my edit, and if I wanted to at this point, I could send it to the Hillsborough system for final play out. And here's just one of the many different workflows that the multi-site capability within Stratos will allow you to achieve.